Right, there's two ladders inside the RV. This will be stored up top on this bunk bed. And there's another one up on the overcap bed. Uh, it'll be real tempting for the kids to, to climb up without the ladders. Please use the ladders. Uh, the wood and the bedding gets gets pretty uh, scratched up if they if they get up there with their shoes on. So use the ladder. They just hook in here and they can climb up and, and get up there. Also the the DVD. Um, the things that hold the DVD remotes in here are really fragile. Um, they, they do come out, so um, just when they're pulling the remotes out, just ask them to be careful. Um, but if a, if a screw comes out, it's not a big deal. It's just, just be careful. Um, this is an induction oven. We have the magnetic pots and pans that are specific to this, uh, uh, this stove right here. Um, the microwave is both a microwave and a convection oven, so if you need to do any baking or stuff that you would do at home in your oven, you can do it in here. All of your uh, kitchen knives and different utensils, scissors are in there. Um, and then you have your silverware, napkins, paper towels, a drying rack, and different things in there as well. Cups, plates, bowls, uh, mixing bowls, Pyrex, and then over here, small appliances, toaster, waffle maker, coffee maker, blender, um, and then up here you have um, the HDMI splitter and a Blu-ray. So this HDMI, uh, there's an input back here if you want to bring uh, a Nintendo Switch or put a, hook in a phone to here, you can do that with an HDMI. And that will play whatever media you have plugged in here will play on this TV, the back TV in the bedroom, and this TV out here. I'm going to give you a five-page paper that goes over all this, including what inputs the TVs have. Um, so that's how that works. The, the remotes are all right here for the TVs and the Blu-ray player. Uh, one thing, this front window, you can't see in it from the outside. You don't even know it's a window. Um, the the uh, covering on it is automatic. Please don't push or pull it. It, it can break. There's a, a rocker switch under here that will pull that window up and uh, again it'll pull it down and then to get up there please don't climb over the, the couch um, this again is a ladder that just hooks on here and use that to get up and down when you're pulling out the overcab TV and you can do this while you're driving if you want to watch a movie just pull it from the center of the TV Swing it out to the angle that you want, and there you go. Uh, one of the things to watch for is when you bring the slide back in, please make sure this is all the way back um, because this, this corner won't come all the way back to the TV there without breaking it. Um, this, if you guys have both extra storage that you need, uh, food and stuff for the trip, you can hook this up here, or if the kids want to sleep with this hooked up so they feel safer without falling off, that's, you can use it for that too. There's a curtain up here that um, goes from uh, this Velcro point here through the cab across the windshield and back to this Velcro point. There's Velcro points throughout up there that will give you privacy when you're parked at the RV park. The, um, the jackknife sofa, simply you just pull up here and it'll pull out into a bed. You, there's also some storage down there. There's some uh, dustpan and a broom and a vacuum to do some cleaning if you have to. But if you just keep pulling this thing, it will lay flat. And we have bedding specific for these under the queen bed. Um, so there's bedding for this and the dinette bed and this all back under the queen. The end of that queen bed lifts up and there's a compartment on the right that opens up and it's all in there. Um, this one, you take this black lever and push it this way. You'll take these cushions off both of these and once you move that black lever yeah once you move the black lever it just kind of floats down um, 
it isn't set perfectly straight so as you bring it down just watch the wood and push it down slowly and then when you're done sleeping and you want it to go back into a bed you just kind of lightly pull up and make sure that this lever is to the right so to the right it snaps snaps into place and then on the left is how it goes back down so left is loose and right is tight um, I think that's it. Oh, there's some under, some storage under here um, for whatever you need on both sides. Just be careful when you, they didn't install this thing right, so it's already rubbing the leather, so don't try and force it closed. Just kind of pull it to the right as it comes in. This one's installed correctly, so it's a little easier to use, but plenty of storage under there. Um,